So not a bad, not a bad. He destroyed that navy. That's two fighters. That that sucks. That sucks. But he pulled back from Burma, so not having that fighter isn't as bad. Options, man. It really doesn't like the tank attack. Implausible. Get at miss me with that nonsense. Panzers, prove them wrong for me now. Ha! Ah, yes. Ah! Hoping it would not be. I was hoping it was already be showing favorable for me. Oh, I don't like that. That's not what we're hoping for. Shoot. Oh, what a glorious day it is. It's time for more Axis and Allies. Come along with me. Let's play some more qualifying games. We have an Axis and an Allies, both to play. You are playing Axis with me today. All right, we have a fighter. We have a fighter. I believe he lost three in West Russia. Yeah. And then in Ukraine, he lost artillery, one tank. Uh, and then retreated. So at least he, at least I got one of his tanks. So it's, that's like um, that's a fairly neutral opener, let's say, for both Germany and the Soviets. We know what we got to do. One, two, and a bomber. Seven infantry, two artillery, and a bomber. My standard opener. The only reason I ever change that is if I have a bomber sitting in Ukraine. Sometimes I don't get a second bomber. Second bomber is nice, but it's like, is three artillery nicer? You're like, well, our, our, our artillery is just sitting there half the time. Like, not if you have a rolling front. Then, then that artillery is making your other infantry more effective to push on Russia. I don't know. I don't know. Comment below what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Does my face look silly? Comment all below. Come at me, bros. Come at me. Okay. This is my fairly standard opener. It's what I enjoy. Sometimes you have the heartbreak and loss in the North Sea. Trust me, guys. I feel you. It sucks. It's it's It really does suck, but this is just part of life, you know. Sometimes you got to take chances. Hmm. I'm going to go very light into Corellia. I'm not going to pile up anyone. Just the, just the one single unit's good. This fighter is not needed. You're not needed. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're not forgetting anything here, guys. I still feel like I, I didn't play for so long, so I still feel a little rusty. I'm not going to lie. I take these extra pauses. Like, don't forget anything obvious. Beauty, battleship, making it nice and simple for us. That's what we talked about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the GOAT. <laughs> I know, that was a simple battle. I shouldn't be that excited over it. This one, I say it every time, I just want to get the destroyer. I, I I care a lot less about taking out that transport. Ah, not not this time. I got it my last two times. I got the, the destroyer and the transport the last two times. This time, that's a little vexing. All right, North Sea, let's have a strong North Sea. Fighters, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, fighters. I want some hits, I want hits all around. No. Okay. Try that again. His sub hit misses. There we go. Three hits. That's much better. Much better. Muchos betteros. Muchos betteros. Both are both are are, uh, are are fighters. Are what are they? Stukas? I was just trying to think of the name. I know they're fighters, but Stukas. Both of our Stukas are coming home. We are going to pile up on the coast, as you do. Mm -hmm. 
so much clickety clickety to do right now. <laughs> I think this might be the most clicky clickety intensive round one out of any of the uh, any of the countries. Lots of clickety clickety to occur. I like to put my transport down here because it forces him to not have his fighter land in West Russia if he wants to use a fighter to attack it. I'm just trying to spread him out as much as possible. Now, if I put my fourth three lights, I'm going to offer him that battle. I won't even bring a fighter down to reinforce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna purposely leave it as a tempting play for him. Come at me, bro. Now I could put bomber fire in Italy. That would allow, if I put the fighter down in Italy, I can move this infantry off. Hmm. Otherwise he can come with his bomber and attempt to pick me off. And finally, have we moved everything? Yeah, I'm going to put fighter in Italy. He'll come up to Germany. I'm going to deploy my bomber here. It's protected by the AA gun and the fighter. And then everything else up in uh, up in Germany proper. Du Gross Deutschland. Right, now I got all my fighters. I'm not missing anything. Just the one down there. Sure. It's too much of a mess to even tell what's going on. So, sure. Got a long road ahead of us, boys. Great Britain with the three infantry fighter bomber. That was my old opening round purchase for Great Britain. Actually, that for for a very long time, that was my opening round purchase for Great Britain. So I'm not gonna fault on that. And, and I'm not and I'm not amazing at allies, so I I, I can't poo-poo on other people's allies strategy. Alright, he took out my destroyer. Wipes the Navy. Only lost a sub, a carrier, and a cruiser. He screwed up. He should have popped the one fighter. He could have kept one of his cruisers alive. That's a mistake on his part. Then I defended the East Indies. Nice. That's a ballsy move. To go after the East Indies, that's a ballsy. You're actually better. So, hey, I'm just just being honest, you know. You're better to go after Borneo with that, with that transport. You're... you're, you're two one rolls attacking his one single two roll anyways and then season 13 he lost a destroyer taking out my uh, my battleship okay so not a bad not a bad he destroyed that navy that's two fighters that that sucks that sucks but he pulled back from burma so not having that fighter isn't as bad um, does have one transport here. I'll be popping this guy with this fighter, but I need to be aware that he could hit me with bomber, fighter, two uh, infantry. If I if I if I was thinking about like dropping a factory in French Indochina or something. Okay, we'll do one transport. I'm going to be taking four guys off of here. So I need to put 
at least two more back on. We can grab these guys with one transport and then the remainder. Leaving me enough for a fighter sub. Because I don't want him to just grab the sea from me so easily. And then the following turn, probably another aircraft carrier. Alright, you might as well be an artillery. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Burma, Yunnan. Oh, nope. Change that. You're into Anwe. You boys as well. It's going to be... Artillery. Doesn't really matter. I did that very inefficiently. <laughs> that was so inefficient. Let's get him out of the way. There we go. Get the one transport out of the way. Finish it off. Now, you know I love it. I love it. You love it. Pearl Harbor. It's a great time. We all love Pearl Harbor. I'm sure everyone had a fantastic time in Pearl Harbor. Go battleship into Yunnan. Fighter hit gets rid of the transport. Final fighter and Donley. That's it. Because my beautiful fighters have been destroyed. Okay. It's strong. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I am recording. I did my recording check. Let's go. Come on, no more than one loss. Uh, I can I can suck up a loss. Oh, man, I didn't one round of them. Okay, well it won't be more than one hit, so. We can deal with this. We can deal with this. Same deal here. We can, we can absorb one loss, no problem. We don't want to go to 2-3. Uh, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what are you talking about, man? Uh, at least we got him at 3. Does he get his bonus? He does, man. That just chews my army up. Just chews it up, man. Okay. Like he can he can effectively counterattack. It's risky business, but he might take those two guys out and have maybe one infantry sitting there or nothing. His his fighter can go land. Not ideal at all. Let's get a strong Pearl Harbor here. Yeah, it's Pearl Harbor is our last battle. Ah, ba -doo, ba -doo. So we wanna what? Take out everything only taking one hit. Already got his hit. Not good. Alright, we got two. Should be able to finish this off. Don't get. He got two for two with his sub, man! And I can't even. Oh my god. Just destroyed already, yes. Okay. I thought that was going to be worse than it was. That's fine. His sub survives. That's not ideal, but at least that that's okay. Um, now, I have the option to land anywhere, because there's no British fleet down here. But I generally like Wake Islands in the north. Oh, the emotions, man. This game. What do we like? There's only this fighter that can hit here. We're not really worried so much about the British. The I'll move out of the sub range for sure. 
And there's no bomber that can hit me in 62. Where's the British bomber? Down here. We don't have to worry about that. One, two, three, four, five, nowhere to land. Okay, so I'll drop my boy here in the Philippine Sea. And then we'll we'll grab him. Let's bring the destroyer over there and our other fighter. And there's nothing else to move. That was a mixed bag turn, man. I don't know how to feel about that. I got, I got mixed feelings. I guess that's how I should feel about that. I have very mixed feelings about that. Okay, so he's all in on Japan first again. Like, it seems this is happening again and again and again. All right. He did not come after my Northwest Europe. Oh, let's just go over his, uh, let's, let's go over his turn. Americans into Morocco, they got a bomber, a carrier, and two destroyers. And two artillery, a tank, and four infantry. Okay. So I'm thinking I go after this navy. Do I want to switch to tanks already? Or do I want to do one more round of all lights? That's the question. Like a seven and a five. I build them and it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four turns when you attack Russia. Is my Japan game gonna fall apart? <laughs> That's the big question. Shredded my one army, but he fell back, so he's, he's balling up into Russia. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the slow. I'm going to do the slow burn, and then we'll switch to tanks after this. Okay, I like it. Now we are hoping for a nice, easy, peasy one-rounder into Corellia. Ah, uh, this tank complicates things a little bit because I wanted to do fighter bomber into Egypt, but my fighter would have to land in Libya. And then it's a 1v1 versus the tank. So I could still do the attack with only the bomber. One, two, three. Come back, one, two. Italy, as long as I take out this fleet Italy's safe. He still has a bomber. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, he can hit me with the bomber. So I would need to build at least a single infantry and keep my AA gun down there. My 20 should be fine for one rounding into Corellia. We'll throw all five fighters down. Shoot, man, I don't know. Because <clears throat> I don't have much of a chance. Well, I do have a chance, but it's not a good chance without this bomber. Let's say that. So then I just keep the fighter there for an extra turn. I think that's the play. Yeah, that's the play. Strong and favorable. Egypt being my weak, my weak attack for sure. We want to one round this. Easy. Nine tanks shouldn't be too hard. Good, good, good. I didn't want more than one loss. No problem. A three to one loss ratio. Plus he had some artillery in there. We like. 
All right, please don't take out a fighter. We got a one in three chance. Ah, he gets his hit. He gets his hit. Still a worthwhile trade, easily. More than two to one. But the fighter will be missed. Sorely missed. Okay. All right, that should be good. We should be able to wipe him. Oh, no! Guys, no, don't make me eat my words. Don't make me eat my words. All right. Yeah, tank survives. That's a dub. I'll take that. I'll take that every day. Taking out that little British army. And I've, I've forced him to now have to react. He'll have to use this plus the bomber on the tank. I can easily destroy it. Maybe I luck out he misses and he has to retreat. Crazier things have happened. Okay, That's all I'm saying. Know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So I, I have to leave my fighter there. But whatever. Ooh, I could put... No, it does have to go to Italy. Go back to Northwest Europe. Let's make sure I have two infantry there. Yeah, I guess I don't need anyone in the Baltic. One unit to wait Russia. Yeah, that's good like that. I'll bring you up, bring you up. And that's Deutschland. Pretty pretty strong second second rounder, I'd say. Feeling okay about that. <clears throat> and from here on out, it'll be probably two artillery per round in Corellia and just tank production, baby. Let's bring those panzas. Oh the heat! <coughs> Start that again. <coughs> Oh, the heat is on Japan, it seems. What did we get? A bomber, a tank. A bomber, a tank, and a fighter? He dropped those into India? Sure. And he takes Burma, lost in infantry. All right. So yeah, definitely pressure on Japan. We're gonna have to deal with that. I'm going with three infantry and artillery and uh, two fighters. <laughs> like, I, what else did I buy? I bought something, I know. Now, I do want to go after Burma. It sucks, I, I'm, but I'm going to sacrifice one of my artillery to help give myself best chance at actually winning here. Yeah, I could only assist with one fighter. These guys, these guys can't make it up to the north. And I'll probably put at least one transport of troops up to the north, maybe one down south here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so then these two guys, these two planes, correction, can't reach anywhere. You can reach Burma. This plane, one, two, three, four can land. But can't get to the, to the mainland. This fighter can, one, two, three, four, can get to Japan. Or land on a carrier. It's... I don't know. <clears throat> I would like to take out that destroyer if I could. But it, it weakens my attack on Burma so much. Bomber 
can't reach there. Alright, so we'll go with the safer bet. That's an alarm. I have to take my dog to the vet. <laughs> but I don't have to leave for 20 minutes still. That was just so I uh, remembered. My puppy. My puppy. So you'll do Burma. One of the fighters will land in Yunnan. He's got two bombers, two fighters he can toss at me. We'll see. We'll see what he does. It's risky business. This fighter, one, two, three, can land. One, two, three, can land. Let's go both these guys down into Szechuan. It's not ideal, but it's what I got. Unless I move this whole fleet. No, but I need this fleet. One, two, one, two. They would only be able to land there. I need this fighter and this fighter to land on this carrier if I want to bring them forward. Which I do kind of want to do. So then I have to put both of my transports up here to keep him safe from his bomber. And I'll move out my fleet and force. Okay. That is what it is. I don't need to move anything else. Let's go. As long as he doesn't hit both of his, of his rolls. Yeah, we're, we're expected to get him in one round. Good, good, good. That feels better. That feels better. That feels better. Oh, up comes the puppy. Up comes the puppy. Freya, her name. <laughs> now I want what I say. I want to grab these boys. Let's say like. Okinawa to the Caroline Islands. Boom, boom, boom. We want two fighters out there for sure. I'm hoping I can flex enough strength that he'll stay here for another turn. That'd be the ideal. And then, if you look at the world, that's two turns that America won't be doing anything to Germany or Japan. This is what I'm hoping here. I don't know if that's going to work, but... This is the strength I am attempting to flex. Now, I definitely can't forget my transports. I'm not sure. Manchuria or Buretia. He's almost certainly going to fall back already. But my fighters aren't in position. No, no, I'm going to be building two. So one, two, one, two, three. They could assist both of them. Okay, we'll drop into Manchuria then. All of the planes down into Yunnan, of course. Fairly safe. Okay, we're not forgetting anything. Soviets with four artillery, three infantry into Ukraine. No, no units lost. Feels bad. The U.S. Carrier battleship transport just building up for the eventual attack on Japan. Algeria, no units lost. Iwo Jima, no units lost. Okay, I'm getting two artillery and five tanks. We're just going to hold on to our four extra IPCs. The grand push. 
has begun. Wow, he really piled up effectively in West Russia there. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. It's two trains of thought. I win this and I can like one, two or one, two. Like I can run around and it's just extra annoying. He has to use his tank. Or I come to Persia. Hmm. If I stay here, he can attack me with his two fight two bombers. Probably my best bet is to 1v1 and try to crack into down here. See what kind of carnage I can cause. There's no ideal scenario there. Like, like that, That's just not ideal either way. Now we want minimal force into here. while our troops move forward. So we're literally just gonna put three infantry. All of our fighters. So those fighters won't be able to land in Corellia. That's the only, the only note. And it would be good to get some more defense up there. With their 14, 16 lights, four tanks. Or say four tanks, three pla uh, two planes. So six tanks, 14 lights he can hit me with. And I'm only going to be adding two more units up there. Or three more. One and then the two I place. One, two, three. So I could drop. I guess I'll just keep one plane out. That's what we'll do. We'll keep one plane out. We'll attack with everything else. I don't want to risk winning Archangel, trying to strafe it and then winning. All right. You got to pick the best of a bunch of bad options, man. It really doesn't like the tank attack. Implausible. Get at Miss me with that nonsense. Panzers, prove them wrong for me now. Ha, ah, yes. Yes, that's what we're talking about. I want to make sure I'm recording that. <laughs> now, nice clean victory. One one hit on me, no problem. Whatever. Just take the territory, actually. I don't even care. He can get his two hits. Yes, okay, we got it. One round. As long as he doesn't hit perfect. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. almost, almost. Now, that was the goal there. We wanted to send the least amount possible to take that territory. Hmm. So you're definitely up to Corellia. These boys... Germany, sure. Don't need my A gun down there anymore. Um, I just stick the whole pile into Poland. I'll stick one and one north to the Baltic states, and the rest into Poland. 
And then I got I got more than enough to push forward now. Uh, next question is where are his planes? He has a bomber there and th fighters. The fighters I don't have to worry about. The bomber now. If I put my bomber in Northwest Europe, one, two, three, four, and he can land. So I have to keep all of that there. But it's it's only the one. He's only got one bomber. This bo these two bombers can't reach me. So I, I am going to plot my bomber back in Northwest Europe, and I'll just leave those two infantry there. Okay. Two artillery into Archangel, or five tanks, and then it's just tanks, baby. Tanks from here. Maybe a bomber or two, spice things up keep things interesting the heat is on my beloved imperial japanese army and navy the british got three tanks and a bomber three tanks in india they're all in against the japanese here all in for his combat burma no units lost took out an infantry and an already no units lost that kind of sucks destroyed my tank no units lost oh you use your fighter fighter and bomber he probably used a bomber on it too okay feels bad man my tank no my tank oh this game's not going easy for me guys i'm not making it an easy one so i'm attacking this navy that's going down now has his bombers here. Oh, wow. Okay. So I need to attack those bombers with one of my transports. Oh, if I could take up both those bombers, that would be so good. That would be so good. So if that's the case, I only need one, two. Then I would be better off throwing an industrial complex down and maybe another fighter or I don't know how, how this battle is going to go. Sub destroyer. Ooh, this could be this could be the game right here. Like I, I wouldn't give up or anything if this goes disaster, but how this turn goes for me could very well determine the game. One, two, three, four, and then can land. I got too many places to attack. So look, I want to attack here. I want to attack here. I'm sorry. C zone 59. I want to attack Burma. And I want to attack, uh, what is this? Yakut, SSR. I can't attack them all. I don't even know if these guys have enough oomph. It says it's favorable. I guess so, yeah. When you look at it, this is basically four one rolls to match is two two rolls that's actually that does look even as i look at it now but you don't want even you want favorable odds man we can yolo this transport in well the problem okay so if i yolo him he can get destroyed in new zealand he can get destroyed in western australia
these two fighters. I have two more fighters I can reach there. It's implausible. Ooh, I was hoping it would not be. I was hoping it was already be showing favorable for me. Oh, I don't like that. That's not what we're hoping for. Shoot. I have one bomber to spare, guys. So I could not attack Burma. And I could instead... Uh, one, two, three, four. No, then they can get back to Iwo Jima. That transport's exposed. I just try to take out Western Australia. That way, even he takes out the transport, I can still take Eastern Australia the turn after. If I don't go for Burma. Shoot, man. I didn't want to send my, my carrier. I was hoping to have my carrier back here and hopefully two planes survive. So then I'm counting on the Navy being wiped. We throw the carrier in and I and I destroy it early. And I can use my bomber on Burma. <laughs> Oh, I don't like the feel of this at all. Oh, I'm not even done. I'm not even done. There's still high stakes left to go. Oh, this turd. This turd is going to age me. Okay. Okay, I want to see the bombers first. Just gotta destroy them. Don't care about taking Alaska. Yes. Oh, we should have this. We should have this. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, yeah, that's good opener, guys. Good opener. Good vibes. Good vibes. Mm, two bombers gotta go. They gotta go. You notice he's got no... Oh, he does have a transport. My mistake. My mistake. He can still... I, I didn't think he had a transport over there. So I'm like, he's going to be a couple turns before he can attack back. But that's not true. Now let's work on uh, stranding these guys in Iwo Jima. Ooh, doesn't want to do that next. Wants to do Burma? Fine. And that's arguably the bigger, more important battle here. But yeah, This looks good. This looks good. Come on. Nope. Come on. Yes, okay. The bomber comes through. Yes, yes! Finish him! Oh, I couldn't do it in two. Couldn't do it in two. Oh, don't let him back in! Don't let him back in, guys! You were doing so good! Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. Can we do the big one? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so if, if round one goes amazing, I will keep my carrier. Otherwise, carriers. Let's look at the map first. So my fighters are all coming. One, two. So they can land Japan or Wake. These ones come one, two, three. These ones are just one, two. So two of my fighters. If I bomb, if I get rid of my carrier, two of my fighters, I got to get rid of two because they're gonna crash regardless. Just mental no, mental no. Go. Oh, okay. Oh, I really could have used another hit there. That was a really weak, really weak opener. No, no. Hits, hits, no. Come on, man! Okay, press on, finish up! Hit. Finally, finally the battleship hits. I'm, I'm not rolling very well here. <laughs> and he is, he's rolling very well. Not amazing, but very well. 
expansion. Uh, that that could have been worse. That could have been better. Uh, the fact that I took out those bombers, we're gonna say it's okay. Now, yeah, could if, if if I could have a, an army left standing after this, this is a pretty great ground. No, no, no! Oh, zero hits, zero. Okay, three is far better. I would have I would have rather that round one, guys. Finish him. Two hits. Two hits. Okay, so I'm not going to have a big army standing. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have no army standing. That's frustrating. Okay. So a good, not great round. The The naval battle could have been way better. It could have rolled so much better. Thankfully, he, he had very middling rolls as well. Uh, he's going to wipe it. He's going to finish it with this now. This bomber, one, two, three, four, nowhere to land. So we're still safe here. Have to put him north. So, I mean, we're, we're still in this, guys. If, if that round had been disastrous... I would be saying like, ah, we need we need some kind of a miracle to get back into this. But no, that was not that was not disastrous by any means. That was a good, not great round. In as the Deutschland, Russians eight infantry attacked Ukraine. No units lost. Americans a carrier, two fighters, and a transport. Libya, Egypt, Sea Zone 59. Oh, so we did. Okay. And because he had Iwo Jima, his plane could land. I gotcha. So the battleship's still exposed. He didn't go after Alaska. He didn't even move a unit in preparation for. Did he just get tunnel vision? And he, and, he, and he didn't notice this? <laughs> why, why didn't you move any units? He considers it just no threat. I'm, I'm not sure. It's such a... It's such, the threat is nil in his mind's eye that it's like, whatever, man. Okay. Oh, dude, that might have been a mistake. That might not be... Uh, it might have been on purpose. I can't say for certain. Let's not overthink it. So he's still ignoring us here. For my purchase, we can do one, two for Corellia. And tank, baby tank. Or should I just do two artillery in Corellia? I'm going to lose, I'm going to throw three out here. So yeah, two artillery would be a better better expenditure get a little bit more uh, attack power out of the out of the deal out of the dilly all okay tanks it is baby now for our attack it's gonna be all of the planes and fighters and three i'm going light here this is risky if he rolls four in his opening round i'm a dumb bum okay because I was humming and hawing about sending four forward, but I'm, I'm going as light as possible. We're just doing three forward. And then everything into Ukraine. Powerful attack into Ukraine. So much power. Uh, I got five. What did I say? I think I want three more of those tanks. This is more for holding it after I attack it, not not necessarily for the attack itself. But if they're going to end up there anyways, let's send them all forward. That's all. Um, that's it. Is this a bad idea, guys? Should I send one more infantry? No. 
We're living dangerously. And watch, he's gonna roll four. You just know it. I get two? What a joke. I mean, it didn't, it wasn't a disaster, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. That's a wash. Maybe I should have sent four. Would I, would I have even a kept attacking though? I'm not, maybe one more round. Should be able to one round this fairly easy. Man, these are poor rolls though. I, I'm glad I'm not, and he got two. Okay. That wasn't a great round. It wasn't disaster. I didn't really set it up to be a disaster. Like I wasn't taking that big of a risk, but it's not. That's not how you want the turn to end, to be honest. Hmm. 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 We're building all tanks. Yeah. Let's so send you forward. All of you guys, do I want this bomber back to north? Yes, I do. Because that keeps this C straight empty. And and from here, you can also go one, two, three. You can pick off transports all over the place. It's a nice place to have your bomber. It just means I got to leave those two infantry back there. Details. Really, I could move one of them away. He only has one bomber. And I have my A gun. Let's maximize my, my push. I was hoping to finish that turn feeling a lot better, man. I was hoping to finish that feeling confident. Maybe even if I have taken Archangel. No losses in Ukraine. Let's check the attack power, guys. How are we doing? Not bad. I have two targets I'd love to take. I'm just short the ability to take them both. Obviously, it would be nice to kill off this nice expensive battleship hopefully only expending a sub but he has a destroyer in range of both the places i can place a sub so we can come and destroy my sub combined with his um his bomber So would it be better just to save that six? Might as well just build the two and, and that way Japan's nice and, and strong. I don't know. I don't need it this turn. There's no threat on Japan. Like there's literally zero threat at the moment. I'm just gonna save the six. I'll go with the two fighters. Okay. I can either come down to Hawaii which he can still grab one and two from Midway and hit me right away. If I go to Western Canada he can still do the same grab one two and hit me. But it does what would what would be the longest well I want to I want to make it as long as possible that he can start landing troops over by me. I would think drawing them down south would be the best. So that's what we'll do. We're sacrificing the uh, the transport. The troopers are all in. They're all in on Hawaii. Oh, we're gonna one, two, three. There's no way I can keep my uh, my transport alive. There's, these bombers are just gonna smoke me. So I'll just drop those troops off them. Yeah, I'll just drop them off in Manchuria, I guess. Because I need to come push south here, try to retake some of this land, block them up at Yunnan if I can. I hummed and hawed about getting a factory too, but... So that's basically it. Oh, wait a minute, my bad, my bad. Uh, Hmm. 
I'll let these guys move forward. And I'll maybe take, like, Kha'Zix down. And that's it. I don't want to send my artillery forward to be destroyed. I gotta be so frugal right now as Japan. They are my freaking weak link. This is like a repeating theme in my, in my Axis videos. Ugh. I remember playing like back in the day. It was, it was always Germany was the weak link when you're playing Axis. No. Okay. Just need one. We just need one. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. That's good. That's a little harder for him to take back. There's a there's a reasonable chance even throwing his two boys at me with his planes that he won't be able to take that. That I'll hold that. So that would be another turn it would hold him up on his attack. Okay, here's our risky business. It's not that risky. I don't want to lose a plane, though. I really don't want to lose a plane. If I could one-round this, that'd be wonderful. Nope. Now, now the fighter gets. Yeah, that's too bad. As you can see, that's pretty even on the IPC losses. Too bad. Did not work out. Maybe I'll drop these guys in Pung Tung. You guys forward. One and one. So frugal, man. That sucks that I lost that fighter. That really sucks, man. And the only, the only air force we have. Oh no, my mistake. We still have the bomber. So, so, so. This is going to be a big one. The Russians got two artillery, five infantry. And Venki undefended. <clears throat> Our American friends. A destroyer, transport, bomber, infantry, and two artillery. Uh, C-Zone 53, destroyed a transport. Or is crushing a destroyed? Yeah, destroyed a transport, undefended Alaska, and could not take Hawaii. Oh, I only came with one infantry. That's why. Okay. Yeah. So this may very well determine the game right here, guys. We're buying an infantry and artillery, five tanks. Here we go. <laughs> It's all in on this. Oh, nothing else can reach. What does it think? It likes it. It likes it. Fingers crossed, guys. He only has one AA gun. So he only gets three shots at my planes. I got six planes. Fingers crossed, no hits. If he does get a hit, just one, please, man. Just one. None of this nonsense, like, triple hit. Okay, yeah, we're, we're doing this. This is happening. Then go to Archangel. Yeah, I don't have anything else to move. Oh. Okay. Good rolls, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Good opener. Good opener. No plane shot down. So we keep our numbers advantage. Let's go. Oop. Oh, those were bad. Oh, no. Uh, my, my, my twos rolled terrible. My twos rolled terrible. That could have been a lot better. It could have been worse, yes, but my lights in general, they rolled terrible. Okay. Ah, he rolled really good, too. That was not a good opener. Come on. Yes, yes. Okay, that was good. That was good. Did I get him in two? Oh, he's getting good rolls, though. He's, he's not... I'm not walking away from that unscathed. Like... But yes. 
Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. 76 to 165. They are never going to financially recover from that. Hmm. So I actually don't have to keep these guys on the coast. I can pull them back. They'll move forward. They move forward. The tanks. Do I really want them exposed in Ukraine? Okay, who can actually attack me? Let's look at that. No, I just wiped out his offensive capability. I absolutely want my tanks exposed in Ukraine. I'm even going to leave the AA gun there because the... Oh, no, no, no. This one needs to go to Ukraine. This one to West Russia. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that was really good, guys. That was really good. Suppose everything into Karelia so it can reach Russia, no problem. Yep. And even the bomber. Boom. One and two with five beautiful tanks. And we, we gotta look at what the attack power is after this one. Oh, yes, yes, that's a victory. That's a dub, guys. That's a dub. He's doing everything he can to keep himself in it. Bought a destroyer, a carrier, and a fighter. A full purchase. Oh, he screwed up. He should have put a second fighter here. That was a mistake. Do I attack that with the... I mean, it's not this turn. One, two, three, yes. Oh, I'd have to throw my whole Air Force at it. I'm guaranteed to lose at least one statistically. It could turn into a disaster. I don't know, an unforced error. It's it's, it's so risky, guys. Well, well, I, I can make my mind up after this turn. Uh, doo -doo -doo, his combats, French Indochina, <clears throat> 11 IPCs dealt. 11 dealt in Japan, that's fun. Malaya. Undefended, French Indo Thailand, Yunnan, <clears throat> and finally C Zone 61. Destroy my transport. Alright. Well, he took a lot of undefended land, so I, I, I mean, it is what it is. Oh, for my purchase, I am repairing the factory to four. I'm buying three units for Manchuria. Let's go with two subs and two fighters in Japan. We're going to attempt to keep the seas clean. For an extra couple turns we'll see how we'll see how well this works out whether it goes disastrous or not we're gonna have to take a couple risks along the way but you know me you know me i like to play aggressive most of the time it works out not all the time but okay let's do what i know for sure like i said i'm playing aggressive i'm going all in Here's where I'm humming and hawing, okay? Oh, I could reach this. How do I reach this? Oh, I still have Hawaii. He could hit my bomber. I'd have to fly over fighters. So I couldn't use these fighters down here then. No. Okay, so that's a no-go. So what I'm humming and hawing about, guys, is do I use this guy in Yunnan and then one single unit go for it as light as possible? Because I know he has a bomber tank counterattack waiting for me. So I don't really want to throw it all forward. But then I understrength my attack on the destroyer. He could, I could hit, miss, miss. He hits opening round. Ah, it's now a close match. It's turning into a disaster, right? Like, or do I just accept more losses? Keep the bomber. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to err on the side of protecting my planes. So we're going to go max against this destroyer. Let me know. Is that the right choice? Is that the right choice? You got to tell me now. Ah, it's too late. Ah, too late, man. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, they're all pretty good odds in our favor here. I suppose the uh, the two, the uh, artillery infantry attack is my, my least, least superior odds. Good, good. That's what we like. We want intact armies.
Oh, to the Air Force. To the Air Force! To the wall! Survive! Or at least get the kill! If you're gonna get hit, at least kill him in the first round! Yes! Ah! Can't win them all, man. My Air Force is just being decimated this game. Like, I should I should rewind back and, and, and see, how many times have I said this? Like, my Air Force just keeps getting smoked. Okay, let's take you down. If he gets his hit, he gets his hit. Who cares? He's, he's counterattacking with tanks anyway, so he's sending valuable things for for me to kill. No! Okay. No again! Finish him! Thank you! Good, good, good. Good, good, good. That gives us a chance to take out a tank. So we're doing okay on the ground game. The ground game's working, but our, our poor planes, man. They just keep getting smoked. <laughs> They're having a bad go of it. Ah, I hope they do. There's no transports close to me yet. There's no one that can really hit me on the coast. So I'll move into Szechuan. Because I can still support Yunnan. It's 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 better. I'm safer, and I can still support either way. And we got nothing else going on. I mean, considering how long ago I lost my navy as Japan, I'm doing okay at holding off. I really am. I feel I feel good about this. I can't build my I can't rebuild my, my navy. The game just like won't let me. It's like, nope. Or, or correction, Air Force. The um is it the IGA? The IGA is just permanently depleted, it seems. All right, he can't get me, so there's no point in not deploying them both here. He can't reach me. And it, and it pushes forward. I'm trying to flex strength on him. Keep him back for another round. Like, go down to the Solomons or someplace useless, you know? Uh, well, if the previous turn didn't determine this game, then this turn definitely will be. I'm going with eight infantry, two artillery, and one fighter. Now, <clears throat> we're definitely all in here with our beautiful twenty-eight. I'm curious what it says already. It already says it's strong. I thought so, because just look at it. Look at it like this. I take out half of these sixteen, so he's got ten. 13, 15, 17. I have 20 tanks. You know, like, I am advantage across the board. It's it's clear, even without putting my planes. <sighs> He's only got one AA gun. I could actually throw all six planes out there and only get shot at three times. It does seem the wiser path. The more aggressive path, <laughs> the maximum aggression path, is I take this Air Force and I go down here after the, his Navy drop. And I attempt to pluck that out, hopefully only losing one fighter in the process. Because he's got a 2-2-4 two, two, roll. Some luck. It's a reasonable luck I could lose one fighter in that. So 10 IPCs for what? 24, 32 of his. Even if he took out two, it's still 22 to 32 IPC loss. Or I just ensure the Russia victory and, and say, screw it. Do my whole drop here. Leave all my tanks here. He only has one transport to drop, which will probably drop in Norway. Yeah. So I'll do one fighter onto the Caucasus and the rest into Russia. Or do I do them all into Russia? You know what? I'll do them all into Russia. If I have to retreat those boys, I retreat those boys. Because the, the extra fighter's not even being shot at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the right idea. This is the game. This is the game. We don't want to wait. All right to Russia. A disastrous... An opening turn can change any battle. So let's let's get to it, guys. Yes! Yes! Okay. 
So we got 826 heavies. So even if we pulled out like two and like 10, that's not even being hopeful. Two is fine. Nine, okay. 10. All right, so that's my not hopeful. That That's not a great opener, but it's not terrible either. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my expectations low. Oh, did he just match me? No, he, I beat him by one. All right, press on. Hits, big hits. Better, better. I got more hits that time. Yes! 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 Oh, pitiful, pitiful! You call those hits? You call those hits. Okay, so I could have taken the Air Force and uh, been aggressive all around. That would have been fun to have seen, but a win's a win. A dub's a dub. Beautiful. Did we get a little bonus of the caucuses? I, I like the, the sounds of that. Or Japan can march in and take it. Fight on, brother! Fight on! Oh, yes! Oh, I don't care! Ah. That wipes... They might have units left. I no, that wipes the Soviets. This has got a boat hidden out there. There you go! I'm saving them even having to deal with a Soviet turn. Who wants to deal with that? Hmm... Oops. Oh yeah, actually I do want that. Now, do I want to do something cray cray? Because he has no transports that can hit Germany. I could put... Boom. Can my fighters... No, my fighters cannot get to Northwest Europe. So I, I would have to stick just that out. With a bomb. No, that's not worth it. That's, that's, that's not worth it. Not that he would win because of it, but why even give him any path back into the game when I just had that devastation laid down upon him? A bomber up in Corelli. I like it. I like it. This is good. This is good. Let's not overthink this. Take a sigh of relief, guys. You've earned it. What to do? One infantry up here. I think the rest will go down into the Deutschland, the heart of the Empire. The heart of the Reich. Yeah. Put a nail in it. Put a nail in it, guys. I don't see what would it what no, he has no way to get Germany. There's nothing that taking any of those territories could turn around. He doesn't have a counterpunch here that I'm I care about. Go ahead, take you now. Japan successfully survived. Yes! Well, he did not rage quit on me. He fights, valiantly fights on a carrier, destroyer, cruiser. Bombed me in Japan into oblivion and took France. Valiant efforts, my enemy, but it will not be enough. I'm repairing my Japanese factory. We're going two infantry, a tank, and a fighter bomber. You know how I love me some happy fighters. Okay. If I want to do max, maximum aggression here, I can go on Burma with a bomber to two lights. My, uh, my artillery infantry. It's basically the only attack I have. Or, or I just ignore it and go to French Indo Thailand. The problem is my bomber only has two movements. So if I got eradicated, I could retreat to here. He has no planes that could reach me, and I could land my fighters with it. Okay. Okay, there you go. I can land my fighters with it. We're, we're fine. And his transports are not in range of Japan. No, he is definitely not. We're not making any bonehead mistakes here. We are good. Let us keep maximum aggression. Let's go. I got the, I got the, I got the pump ready, guys. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I didn't pump hard enough the first time. <laughs> okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. No, no, I was late on the pump. I was late. Ah, what is happening? What's happening to me? I'm becoming everything I despise. 
That's okay. Just to just to take those tanks out, I don't I don't mind that at all. We're gonna call that a W in our book. 100% W. Well, they called it a W too. So I suppose it I suppose it was in everyone's book a win. Or for us, I don't know what I'm saying. This game is over, guys. It is just a matter of um, time at this point. Let's bring all of our south forces south to bear. They'll push into Africa. I actually don't need to hide him farther back. I can bring him right forward to you now. These subs I want in the Philippine Sea. In case he comes down here, I can still counterattack, and I'm out of his range. And a tank, two infantry, and our planes. We'll just keep building up that air force. Maybe add a sub or two. It's golden. It's gravy, baby. He carries on. So do we. We don't need to look at his Soviet turn. There was no Soviet turn. The Yanks got destroyers, transport bomber, and infantry, and just raided Germany. Nothing. Nothing. The Yanks did nothing. <laughs> okay. For the purchase, ooh, I didn't notice he had bombed out uh, Germany. Let's repair Germany once or twice. Nine's fine. Boo, boo, boo. I was thinking eight will push into Africa and the other six will just help secure down this area. Lock down the local area. Now, what can he throw? He can only throw one transport from each of them. So I'm going to go all in here. So I'll, I'll be able to hold France from any counterattack. No problem. No problem. And that's it. Two very strong attacks. It's nice to have some 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 breather turns, you know. When you're when you're playing like a, a long or medium length close game, and it's like every turn you're coming back not knowing what you're coming back to. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe it's only I who stress about this. <laughs> I don't know. But... Boom, boom, boom. Easy one round. Lots of hits. Hits for you. Hits for you. Hits for everyone. Except us. When it doesn't matter, you get all these great rolls, right? <laughs> You're like, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Uh... Let's go four up there. These two down here. Just in case he YOLOs on Berlin. We'll bring all the planes down there. And let's deploy. I at least want these four for the Caucasus. The rest will we'll all go for uh, defending here. Yeah, let's put... No, oh, let's put another one in Berlin. These two in the north. These guys in Germany. And Italian. Yes, we need some Fiat troops. Finally, a happy fighter. Italian fighters, world class. It's just formality now, guys. It's going to rage quit anytime. That, my friends, is what we call an Axis victory. Thank you very much for making it to the end. There wasn't any doubt we were going to steamroll... All the way to victory. Did he even take his turn? No, there's no turn to be taken. There's no turn to be taken. Thank you for making it to the end, guys. Comment, like, all that great stuff. Play along with me. Add me if you would like on Axis and Allies. I can always use more friends. Until next time, have a good day. Goodbye.